Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Frick Vlogtober Day 5. I think. It is freezing cold outside. It's like 30 something degrees. It's supposed to warm up later. But this is not what I was expecting. I don't think I even own a winter coat. Why am I rolling down my window? Oh yeah, I have to wipe off my mirror. Okay, so we're going to therapy and then we have to mad dash to get our Walmart order because I sent it to the Walmart across town again, which is something I did when I first moved in, so I should know better by now. Apparently I don't, but we got to therapy at like 8.45 and our groceries will be ready at 9. That's all I really got to say this morning. I'm tired and cold. Good morning, Crunchy. Good morning, baby that's ripping his socks off even though it's freezing. Okay, the morning mad dash is over. I thought I'd do a quick grocery haul so you guys know what meals I have planned for the week. Since we're daily vlogging, you'll probably see me cook some of this. And just for any of you who are watching, they're like, you didn't get any vegetables. I have a ton of frozen vegetables and also some stuff that's gonna go bad in the fridge soon. And an entire basket of apples that we still need to get through. So I didn't buy a ton of fresh stuff. It's mainly just snacky stuff kind of so starting in the refrigerated section we got a ton of yogurt the kids have been absolutely loving vanilla greek yogurt i just give it to them on a spoon and then i do a redip for them as we go on and then for myself but also the kids if they're interested the too good is probably my favorite brand of yogurt of all time even when i'm not trying to eat healthy it only has two grams of sugar which for me feels like the perfect amount of sweetness but if it does want to, or if I want it to feel more like a dessert, I did get some little sugar-free chocolate chips and some sugar-free whipped cream back there. We'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, I got a bunch of different flavors. My favorite flavor from this brand is the coconut one. I can't find it anywhere. I think it was a Target exclusive and I don't grocery shop at Target, so there's that. Did I already say string cheese? I can't remember, that's for me and the kids. I got Jell-O for kind of the same reason. It's just a quick and easy sweet snack and it's sugar free, super low calorie. We'll probably use whipped cream on that as well. The kids actually love pork rinds and so do I. It's a low carb crunchy snack that's really good if you dip it in tuna or guacamole or something. So we got barbecue and original and then the kids main snack um, when we're on the go and stuff is granola bars. So we got Chewy, which we already opened because they could not wait, and the Nutrigain bars. I got a big old thing of Creole seasoning because I'm going to make a jambalaya this week or like a fake jambalaya. Instead of rice, I'm going to use chopped cauliflower, which I would chop it myself, but I don't have a food processor. I'm hoping that when Nick visits next month, he'll bring me my kitchen appliances because I know he's not using them. Um, and that would be really nice. So then I can chop my own cauliflower. But until then, I bought it pre-chopped. So that's what the celery, the green peppers, the shrimp, the sausage, the green chilies, and the seasoning is for. And I actually already have a couple more ingredients for that already in the pantry. But let's go into frozen stuff. The kids love this frozen breakfast turkey sausage. Stella is just obsessed with it. And I'm not gonna complain because it has good protein. And it's pretty low fat because it is turkey. And then the frozen blueberries I bought to go on yogurt because I just think that tastes really good. I picked up a lazy night meatloaf for the kids because they both like meatloaf. Meatloaf's super easy to make. I probably should have just meal prepped one at the beginning of the week here, but I was lazy, so I got this frozen one. Then also for quick mornings, I got some buttermilk waffles for the kids. That's so easy to throw in the toaster. And you might hear Fievel drumming on the trash can. I'm not doing keto, but I am doing kind of low carb. Like I think keto, you have to stay under 10 carbs a day. I'm kind of tracking and I'm eating more like 30. So I got this um, just to try it out. Same with the keto pancake mix. And then I got some sugar-free syrup. I got my favorite sugar-free vanilla syrup. I use this in iced coffee, whether I'm eating healthy or not. And then of course we have a loaf of bread because the kids eat a lot of sandwiches when we're on the go during the week. Name a quicker and easier and cleaner meal for kids on the go. I will wait because there is none other than a sandwich. So we have that and then I also got some coconut milk and canned coconut milk because I love chia seed pudding. So I'll probably make some of that. I'm experimenting this week trying to decide which one of these works better for that. I've used this in the past. It came out really good. But this one is much lower calories and it's also cheaper and you get more. So 
thought I'd do that. Might top it with the sugar-free whipped cream. Like I said before, I got the sugar-free chocolate chips. And I think that's everything. Oh, but one thing I snuck in the freezer. I love Halo Top. This is like eight net carbs, I guess. And then this one isn't the keto brand. It's just the low calorie one. You can eat the whole pint for under 300 calories. I've never actually tried strawberry or this flavor. This is berry swirl. I'm hoping they're good. I've tried other flavors. I love the vanilla. I love the mint chip. I love the, I think it's called like blueberry crumble or something. I've tried so many of these, but there's so many flavors I haven't caught up yet. So yeah, just bought that as a treat. Look at this happy boy and his waffle. It doesn't even need syrup, he's such a foodie. Okay, I just got a package and I wanted to share with you guys, it's already open because I was trying to film this on the living room floor, but I was sharing a scoop of Halo Top strawberry ice cream with Bible and now he's kind of obsessed with me so I can't sit on the floor without him trying to tear my hair out in bed for more ice cream. So um, anyway, I wanted to share this with you because I'm sure you guys are gonna be interested in this little experiment I'm gonna be doing this week. But I bought something, I bought something off Amazon, of course I did. I got one of these little whiskey things and this week, not today, but this week I'm gonna be trying to make my own pumpkin cold foam, the stuff that I get from Starbucks over my iced chai latte, which you have to try if you haven't already, um, or drink it over cold brew because that's also amazing. I'm gonna try and make my own. I've seen a couple different recipes. I've got the pumpkin puree already, I've got the heavy cream, I've got the iced coffee. I don't have any iced chai mix, and that's gonna be the real determining factor whether or not I can make that drink from home. So we're just gonna have to wait till the next little grocery trip here, and then we're gonna try this out. But in the meantime, I did also buy a little packet of powdered matcha. I love matcha, and I love um, the matcha drink from Starbucks. I'm blanking on the name, matcha iced latte or something like that. So I'm gonna try a scoop of this with some coconut milk and I'm gonna whisk it up and make it real frothy. Maybe I'll try to make a like matcha cold foam cream on a drink or something, I don't know. Um, this thing was pretty inexpensive. I'll have it linked in the description down below. I got this on sale for I believe like $7.99 or something and even not on sale, I think this particular one was only like $10. So if it doesn't work out, it's not a huge, waste but i think it's gonna be great and also i'm probably gonna use that to mix up my chia puddings probably later this evening because i'm gonna do a little bit bit of meal prep with you guys so yeah there's that i just want to share that with you in case any of you wanted to order one as well because this is gonna be amazing if i can make my own cold foams I will also link the matcha for anyone who cares. And I also just remembered, I've never tried the whipped coffee that everyone was drinking towards the beginning of quarantine. So I might try that one as well. Okay, I changed my mind. I need a little caffeine anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and make a little matcha ice drink with my little frother. I just put the batteries in it, which it came with by the way and it looks really strong, so hopefully this works. It's also unsweetened, and then this is unsweetened coconut milk, so I'm gonna use some of this vanilla sugar-free syrup that I bought today, and we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so a half a teaspoon of this. It smells like very strong matcha, which I love. And I'm gonna put that right into a cup. And then one cup of the coconut milk. I'm gonna froth it up, I guess. Whoa, geez. I don't know if you can tell. Let me grab the camera. It's super, super frothy and bubbly. Okay, and then a little bit of this vanilla syrup goes a long way. Bloop. That was probably too much, honestly. Mix, mix, mix. It's very good. Not the same as Starbucks because they don't use coconut milk. I think they just use like regular whole milk when they make this, so it's creamier, but it's really good. And only 43 calories. Is this not 
a mommy dream come true. I finally have an activity that both my kids can do at the same time and they love it. It's just so cute. They're like playing together, but not really together. You're coloring. Mommy's very happy that you're coloring. And baby brother's coloring too. With crayons. That is so beautiful. Five oh, that looks so good. Wow. You guys are amazing. You make my mommy heart so happy. Wow, pink and black. You're missing the paper a little bit. Good job. No. No. Okay, it is now the evening. I have put kids, I have put kids, I have put both the kids to sleep and I just posted the video for today, the Vlogtober day five, I believe. And yeah, it uploaded much faster today, so that's great. Thank you for all of the internet advice that you guys have been sending to me on Instagram and my DMs. I did figure out what was going on. Uh, I have like a 2G and a 5G internet. I don't know if that's something that all internet companies do, but I had all of my devices running off like the 2G setting when I could have like split it up between the 2G and the 5G. Basically, it was just... It was a lot happening on my internet, so it was slowing it down quite a bit. But I did switch my computer over to the 5G, and now it loads much faster, which is very nice. I don't have to spend all night doing that. But I did want to talk to you guys really quick. I'm going to do that thing where I post a screenshot of the thumbnail for this video on the community tab so we can talk under it where I have comments. And um, I just want to know, what's it like for you putting your toddler to sleep? Because when I put Stella to bed, she plays and sings and jumps around and acts all crazy for at least an hour before falling asleep. And I want to know, is that normal? Like, does your kid do that as well? She doesn't complain getting into bed. She doesn't cry or fuss. We have a bedtime routine, so it's normally a bath if she's bathing at night, um, a book, brushing her teeth, PJs. And yeah, and then I put her to bed. She says goodnight to me, asks me for some water, acts like she's gonna go to sleep. I turn off the light, I shut the door, and she's singing Christmas carols. So what does your toddler do at bedtime? Is that how your toddler acts? I used to think that it was that I was putting her to bed too early and she wasn't tired, but it doesn't matter how late I let her stay up, it'll at least be an hour before she falls asleep. So is that what it's like for you? I don't know, because this is my first toddler I've ever had or ever been around. Um, and I just don't know what's normal and what's not. So definitely let me know underneath the community tab over there. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I was going to do some meal prep tonight. I think we're going to do that in the morning instead. Because the Chio puddings, if you let them sit in the fridge for too long, they get like kind of hard and gloopy. So we're going to make that in the morning before our picnic. Because that's definitely happening tomorrow. We have the day off from therapy and it's going to be 75 degrees. So I'm looking forward to it. And I'll see you guys then for Vlogtober Day 6.